So in an attempt to organize my garage, I need to make something for all my finished supplies. Right now they're just all sitting here in this box and it's been like that ever since I moved. If I need something, I just go grab it out of there and I throw it back in there. And it's pretty much just been staying underneath my workbench. You can see it's really not organized. So I want to organize and make something for it. And what I've been thinking about is making some sort of cart. Something that could contain everything in one area. Wheel it outside if I need to spray something or put a finish on something. And then wheel it back in when I'm done. Move it around the shop if I need to. So that's the plan. And so I think I'm gonna, it's gonna be some sort of finishing cart. I don't know, really simple, right? I know. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. All the wood that I'm gonna be using is gonna be from a big cabinet that I tore down in my garage. Uh, it's this old stuff, a lot of it's three quarter, which is nice. So I got some plywood and then some pieces of pine. And so I'm gonna try to salvage all of that and make this cart. This is the base of the cart. It measures 36 inches wide by 24 inches deep. I've already made one side of the cart and this is facing out so all my spray paint is going to be on the outside of the cart so that's the way it's easy to get to. It's going to have three shelves on each side and I'm going to put a piece of bungee cord across here to keep the spray paint from falling out. So we're going to need to go ahead and make the other side. This piece is the same 24 inches in width but it is 31 and a quarter inches high. Now I am laying out for the wheels. The front two wheels will be fixed and the back two wheels will be swiveled for easy maneuvering. Already went ahead and cut a quarter inch piece of plywood to act as the back. I'm gonna go ahead and screw that on now. All right, I got my cart down here on the ground, my back is on, and I got to put a apron here on the front, and so I'm gonna start laying out my top. So my top's gonna to have two different features on it. One side is gonna have a downdraft table for sanding, and then the other side is gonna be for finishing, and I'll get into that side a little bit later on. But right now I'm gonna start putting my downdraft table together. Went ahead and put some supports here on the side, and it's sloping down towards the bottom. I have a hole here for my shop vac, I got all my pieces cut, and so I'm just going to go ahead and start putting this together. Now I'm going to add a bead of caulking to make sure everything is airtight in the downdraft box. All right, so now we are going to attach the top and I went ahead and put another piece running down the middle here for extra support uh, for the pegboard and I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, I left a gap underneath there so that way the air from the vacuum will go under there and whatever dust collects in here will, will be able to go underneath this support piece. I'm going to put a bead of caulking around the inside edge that way it will hopefully seal this off 
uh, make for a good tight fit. I made this little trim piece to cover up this front edge. So went ahead and made a little handle for this, easy to steer around, just made some brackets and then cut up a piece of closet rod. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, I'm going to kind of explain what a downdraft table is. My vacuum is going to hook up on the hole on the other side, and so when I'm sanding, whether it be with this orbital sander or hand sanding, a lot of the fine dust will get sucked down into the table and, and then into my vacuum. It's not going to catch every single particle of dust, but it's going to be a lot better job than what I have now, which is nothing, or just this little bag which doesn't catch everything. So on the other side of my cart is going to be my finishing area. And what I've done here is these pegs I've cut. And what they'll do is they'll go in here. And that way it'll keep my work elevated. And I can get a nice good coat there on the bottom if I'm spraying something. I kind of like the idea. I was kind of going back and forth whether I want to put these in permanently or have them removable. I made a little cubby down here where I could put them. So I'll kind of play around with that and see how which way I like it. But I think for now I'm going to leave them... Um, the way they're removable and that way if I need to sand something long I could take them all out and I'll have the whole tabletop to work with. Alright so I want to have something that goes across here to prevent these cans from falling out as I'm wheeling this thing around the garage. So what I came up with is I went ahead and bought a bunch of these bungee cords. I'm going to go ahead and cut the hook off of them like that. I'm going to go ahead and string it across here, put a screw in it to hold it because I thought oh maybe I could just tie these things in a knot but it's just going to be a big ugly knot on the end of the thing I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and put these things on. I'm not sure what I want to do with this area, put some doors on it or just leave it open. I want to organize my sandpaper, maybe have some pull-out drawers. I'm also going to probably store all my stains here at the bottom. If you have any ideas, leave those in the comments down below. If this is your first time here at the Wildman Project, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And also, if you could hit that thumbs up button on this video, I'd greatly appreciate it. So that will do it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.